Let's write the formula for sodium citrate. So the first thing we notice is we have sodium here. So if we want to write the formula, sodium is just Na. So that's fairly easy. But this citrate here, that's a little bit odd. When we look at the end, we see ATE. That means we're not going to find this on the periodic table. The citrate ion, that is a polyatomic ion. So we either memorize the formula for the citrate ion here, or we look it up. I've not memorized the formula for the citrate ion, so I look it up, I get C6H5O7, and the whole thing, the whole citrate ion here, has an ionic charge of 3 minus. So since I have this metal, sodium's a metal and a group of nonmetals in the polyatomic ion, this is an ionic compound, I need to balance the charges. So I have 3 minus on the citrate ion, sodium is in group 1, that has a 1 plus. So if I had three sodium ions, three times one plus, that's three plus, that balances out the three minus. So this is the formula for sodium citrate. Note that it's also called trisodium citrate. That's the official IUPAC name. Tri because we have three sodiums in our citrate ion, but quite often you'll see it as sodium citrate. Let's take a look just briefly at the structure of sodium citrate. So when we look at the molecular structure of sodium citrate, we have one, two, three of these sodium atoms, and they're ionically bonded here to the citrate ion. If we had hydrogen ions here in place of the sodiums, it would be called citric acid. So the citrate ion, that comes from citric acid. This is Dr. B writing the formula for sodium citrate, Na3C6H5O7. Thanks for watching.